Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about Flutter Desktop again. Uh, I made a video last week about Flutter Desktop where I tried to figure out is it ready for experimentation yet or is it still too early in development. After that video I actually got some traction and the developer of the embedding for Flutter that enables Flutter desktop reached out to me, Stuart, and said that it does work. Um, so if I found any errors, any bugs, please report them instead of uh, making a video that says that it doesn't work. Um, and he's right, uh, the documentation might have been a bit lacking. It was a little bit hard to understand exactly what you need to do in order to get it to work. But as you see here, I have it working up and running. And this is my own example uh, project. And if I change something here, for instance, I remove home and save that, it will reload the interface as well. We can do something a little bit more elaborate. We see here that we have a column with some text in this border body. Maybe we can do a list view, for instance. And uh, list views has children with video widgets. So let's put this center thing inside of that uh, list view instead and let's see here if that will update and uh, maybe we need to uh, remove this center thing perhaps no nope. uh, that was the like that uh, so this is a column some of these comments so we get a little bit clearer view uh, found view issues let's see here floating action point yeah we need to put comma there now we see that we have this in the list view up here if we add a, a text up here for instance let's say uh, Hello. Uh, oh yeah, still need commas. We will put that up top there. Maybe we can center that text as well. Uh, center children, child text. So we will have a centered hello. Still all the commas needed. Uh, one more. So we see here that it's no problem to actually get uh, get this to reload and to work with with the design. And you see that this state that the program has has not changed at all during these changes. Um, so that's really nice. And let's go into what was required to actually do this. So in the Flutter GitHub repository, there is a Flutter desktop embedding uh, available. And if we go into that project, you have a lot of things in here, but you have an example project. And that's important. This example project, you can actually use this as a start for your own project, but uh, if we want to do this from the ground up, let's start over and do our own project. So if we go in here, we can say flutter, not floater, flutter, create my project. So now we will create a new project and we need to use underscores. Uh, so it's a good, good of them uh, to actually tell us you're not using everything needed in order to get this to work. And when we have created this project, we need to copy some stuff from the other project 
in order to get it running because the main standard project doesn't have the runner for Windows embedded. It ha don't have the runner for um, uh, Windows or Linux or anything like that. So that we need to add. So if we go into my project here and we open this Explorer window, in this embedding we have this Windows directory. We have a fonts directory. If we go back and we copy those into our project, so that's the first thing we need to do. And the reason we need to copy fonts is because the uh, standard uh, Google fonts um, are not available in, in the standard Windows libraries. Uh, so to have Roboto, we need to actually add it to this project. And the Windows directory here is all the running runner files that are required. Another thing to point out here is that to get this to run, I needed to have master of the Flutter environment and I needed to add the embedding and also have the master of that. So the two versions need to be totally up to date. And if you either have an, an older version of Flutter or an older version of the embedding, you might have some problem because these are moving very fast now. And uh, since the last week, I think there have been at least three commits to the embedding project and many more to the Flutter environment. So it's important to actually keep up to date if you want to try this out later on when the embedding will actually be released either in Flutter or will have a release version of its own, you can ma match those up. But we are too still, till, still too early in that uh, development. Then we need to add some things to our pub spec. So if we up open up our project here, uh, the new uh, my project, and we open it this window and we will terminate that. So we will remove that other application and when this has opened up we need to add some things to our pub spec uh, and these are just to get the newest uh, beta release of uh, flutter in order to get it to work um, so first off we need to go in here and tell the environment what version of um, the flutter environment we want to run in this case, we want to have the SDK between two and three, and we already have that. We need to have, uh, let's see here, we need to have the fonts down here. So let's copy those. If we uh, find somewhere that those uses material design, and we copy in the fonts. Might not be required, uh, but then we will not sh uh, see the same that, uh, same layout. We will have different fonts that are displaying. And if you don't have the right SDK environment, you will not see anything at all uh, because it can't really build. Um, we also need to have this Flutter pre-build here. So we will add that as well. Uh, so that's required in order to get this to work. And in our main Dart, we need to add some things as well. So if we open up the Dart file here, we need to add first off some imports. Here you only have material design, but we actually need to have this default debug uh, target platform override from the foundation. So we can actually use that in our main application in order to say that we want to run Fuchsia as a platform. This is all documented in the documentation that this is required, uh, but the, uh, the copying of files is not, um, that not mentioned uh, what I can see, but maybe it's expected that you just run this example uh, project and then you do, don't need to do this. Uh, so let's get the dependencies here. Uh, let's see when we have run Flutter uh, pub get. So that should be good. And now we probably should be able to just run this Windows desktop uh, 
version here. And that should build and show our application inside of Android Studio. And if you use Android Studio, you get this hot reload enabled uh, by default. If you use it uh, either in the uh, standard command line with code, for instance, or if you have any other editor and you don't have the native build libraries, so you can start it from that environment, you will not get the hot reload when you are doing changes to your application. So that's the important part to have a way to actually make changes to your application and get this hot ro re reload back. So let's just wait a bit here and see if it uh, starts. So now we have started this Flutter demo homepage my own application that we just created uh, with the dependencies and everything required in order to run it on Windows. Um, I'm running this in a virtual machine, so I don't have that much memory uh, to run it. <laughs> so it uh, will be a little bit sluggish and not as responsive as you might uh, expect. Uh, but if we go in here and we change something, we should get a hot reload and get an update to our page here. Let's see uh, if we will get that. I saw the hot reload go through, but it still is complaining about GPU surface GL could not make the content text current to acquire the frame, okay? Should I run a pub upgrade on my pub spec again? And now it seems to be a bit more stable. So it might be that without this pub upgrade, I didn't get the exact version of Flutter that is required to run this desktop environment. So just to uh, reiterate what I said before, with the correct version of Flutter, a new uh, release, and this embedding with a new version there as well, you should be able to get it up and running, try it, experiment with it. And the same goes for Linux. The same thing you do there, you move the Linux directory over to your, uh, your own project. You move over the fonts over to your project. You do the same. Uh, fixes in the um, pub spec and your main file in order to load the correct uh, uh, packages and also say that you want to use Fuchsia for your uh, platform and that should enable you to actually run it on your desktop either on Linux and or Windows uh, should be just fine for that purpose. I feel this is very exciting that you can actually use Flutter in this way with a hot reload and build things in Flutter on your desktop. Uh, I understand that it is a lot of moving parts in the background here, so uh, there could be some glitches, but they are working hard on it and they will uh, be able to run Flutter everywhere. Uh, so that's so uh, fun and in exciting that you can build things that you can run everywhere. Um, I'm gonna make a project with this, I build a little, little series uh, where I build an app with Flutter Desktop and we see how far I can get. If I can create some designs in this and if I can uh, make something that actually works with some backend or, or or something like that. Uh, if you have any questions about Flutter Desktop, please leave them down in the comment section down below. Maybe some of the developers will read that as well. Um, if you uh, like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.